Hello, everyone. This is your host, J.R. Michael, with another episode of Make That Bloody Movie with Coffee. And in tonight's episode, we have a special guest, Kay Stevens, my longtime actor friend and um, motivational speaker. Uh, (laughs) Kay Stevens, he's been in a lot of films through the years. He's um, also a deacon, and he is a, a wonderful, exciting person, man to be around, funny dude. And I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you'll enjoy this interview because this was a one of a kind interview. Um, also, before I add to that is uh, the coffee of the night. I will let you guys know and tell you towards the end of the break what the coffee we're both drinking because both of us are drinking coffee. So I'm going to hand it to you to Kay Stevens. He's going to tell you a little bit about himself, his background and what made him got into acting. Go ahead, Kay. Good evening. My name is Kay Stevens. Yeah. I'm currently working at Super Pro. Okay. You know, um, right now we're about to start working on a project. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's called Nightfall, and it's um, it's coming out pretty soon. We're gonna start shooting pretty soon. We're preparations now. Um, after that, we're gonna go into another project, Stranger in the Dark. And um, right now, I'm just doing what I have to do to stay afloat. Okay. As we continue to work on this project. I'm just excited. It's a lot to be excited about. It's a new year, 2020. All right, all let's right. Go, let's go full throttle, man. Let's so, get it done. So tell everybody out there what made you get into acting. Well, well you know, I was in the fifth grade and I um, won an oratorical contest. Okay. A lot of people came up to me and um, they gave me the confidence. And, and, and um, yeah, that's what they gave me. They gave me confidence. Confidence to believe that I could get out there in front of an audience and just perform. I always had a, a sense of humor, right? You know, I used, used to make people laugh more right. so now than I do now. <laughs> uh, then than I do now, but um, anyway, um, that was the start of it. Okay. Eventually, when I got to high school, I started doing plays. Um, people received me pretty well, so once oh, wow. I stopped doing plays and got in the background acting. Okay. And I met you, a couple right. of others, and the rest is history. Started That's, making different films. Okay, okay. Yeah. So tell everybody out there, what kind of genre would you say is, is more attractive to you that you wanted to get into? Oh, I would love to get into some action and some drama. Really? Yeah. So okay. this, this 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 movie Nightfall, as well as Strange in the Dark, this is going to allow me to do just that. Okay, what gravitated you to Nightfall? Nightfall is a great script. Okay. You know, um, it's dealing with something that's going on. I'm not going to give it away. But it's dealing with something that is very, very serious and prevalent in today's society. Okay. A subject that many people aren't, aren't touching upon. Okay. So it's going to be very, very interesting and fun okay. to shoot this film called Nightfall. And ladies and gentlemen, I didn't pay him to say that. <laughs> no so, money at all. <laughs> so that's all him, just so you know. And um, yes, it's a very- If you pay me, you better put the money on the table now. <laughs> I don't know about getting paid. You know- it's 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 an interesting topic, you know, nightfall, and we could tell the the audience out here what is um, what nightfall touches on. That's you know, a lot of people have well, right now in the news have been exposed to, mm-hmm. and it has caused a lot of controversy. Yeah. It deals with immigration, you know, immigrants migrating from Mexico to the United States and going to Canada. Yeah. Plus. You know, it deals with um, sex trafficking, Mm -hmm. which is a huge, huge Huge. business in the United States. And there's different people that you wouldn't you wouldn't expect to be in it. They are in it. And so that's what Nightfall touches on. And it takes it takes these two characters, Brick and Jack Walker, through a journey where they have to deal with a lot of, um, you know, things such as uh, they they take on a job, which they think it's one thing. But it ends up being another yeah, thing, different. and they get they get framed for it in a way. So then they're trying to um, solve what's going on, and actually throughout the series, it shows you step by step what these guys go through, you know. But um, it's it's really interesting, and Very I interesting. you know I tell you, Kay Stevens, you know he's been in a lot of plays and in a lot of different genres, and he's seen a lot of things in his life, and you know having him here tonight is very it's a special honor. Thank you, you know. It's good uh, to be here. It's been a while since we've seen each other. Right. It's been a couple of years. A couple of years. Yeah. So this project has brought us back together and the gang. And we're pretty excited for this project. And it looks like it's going to be a big hit. Yep. And um, so go ahead, Kay. So what would you say 
in the next five years from today you see yourself what you see yourself doing Look, we're gonna we're gonna continue to work man you okay. know um we're gonna continue to produce all right we're gonna continue to direct that's right and we're gonna continue to act I hear you. And Amen. in the process, we're going to make a lot of money. This team, <laughs> this team right here, we're going to do some big things. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. All about the Benjamins. God is with us. You know, we've been grinding for a while now. Yeah, we have. And yeah, we have. the payoff is now. That's our time. That's our time. 2020 is our time. We're kicking indoors. We're taking over, baby. That's right. And we come. Get ready. Remember Amen. the name? Amen. Remember the name? Remember the faces? Yes, <laughs> yes. Remember when you heard it? Because it's going down. Ladies <laughs> going and gentlemen. Down. Yes, I agree with Kay Stevens. <laughs> he took all the words that I could say. But um, again, thank you for being on our show, Kay. Yes, it's oh, a pleasure, and, honor. And by the way, I want you to tell the audience mm -hmm. what is the coffee of the night that you're drinking. And this is this is Dunkin' French Vanilla and Hazelnut Mixed. <laughs> Something special. So everybody out there who loves a flavor of coffee like that, definitely check it out. Definitely check it out. get that coffee. And the coffee of the night for me, ladies and gentlemen, is French vanilla caramel mocha. Mmm. Well, so, see, my girlfriend will like this one. I don't know about your wife and all that. What she gonna do with that one? But well, here's you know, to you, girl. <laughs> I love I love mocha. I love French vanilla. So. I like to mix the two every now and then. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, J.R. Michael, with another episode of Make That Bloody Movie with Coffee. And tonight's interview with Kay Stevens, who is an awesome star up and coming Thank in you, Nightfall. Brother. Definitely check it out. Wait for the, the series. We're going to have a, the pilot come out late fall. So stay tuned. Stay alive. Stay sweet. Love, peace, and happiness. And I'm out of here.